In this video we're going to look at how to play the Top Gun theme tune, which is fantastic for beginner guitarists to start to play single notes on guitar. Whether you play electric or acoustic, give this one a go. I'm playing acoustic so that I can encourage more acoustic guitar players to learn these single note melodies. Guys, if you're playing big chords all the time and you're getting lines on your fingers and your fingers are really hurting every time you play guitar, a great thing you can do is learn a melody such as this so that you're only holding down one one finger at a time and the others get a little bit of rest. So grab your aviators, get your jumpsuit, is it? I was going to say onesie. Grab your jumpsuit and come join me for this classic guitar solo. Alright, so that melody starts off with our first finger at the first fret of a string two. This is a C note. We then go to third finger at the third fret. And we're actually going to line our fingers up a finger, a fret, like this. So when I say fret one, we're going to use the first finger. When I say fret three, we want to be using our third finger and whatever note we play, we always want to be at this side of the fret, not this side of the fret. So right up here and right up here, not this side, this side. So first fret, third fret, third fret. Or one, three, three in tab. Then it's one, zero, one, zero. One, zero, one, zero. And you can see that my fingers are on this kind of angle, which makes the stretch easier. And I also have my thumb just sat here, which makes it a lot easier to play this kind of pop and rock guitar solo style because it stabilizes our hand. Very good for pop and rock styles. That's where we're at. We then play third finger, third fret, but at the second string just here, and we play that note twice. And then we are over halfway by that point, so stick with me on this one, learn this great solo. Here we go. In tap, just the numbers. One, three, three, one, zero, one, zero, three, three. Then, second section, we go one, three, zero. One, three, zero. After that, three, zero, one. Finishing with zero, one, between strings one and two, zero, one, zero, three, three. That second half running up this little bit. That little section. One, three, zero, three, zero, one, zero, one, zero, three. Whole thing. Two technique points. You'll notice I'm doing this on some of the notes. That's called vibrato. It's vibrating or shaking that string. I'm just pulling it down a little bit. We always do that on this angle. It makes it sound a little bit more rocking. It's done in the original. It's got this kind of kind of even wilder on the original. And the other thing that I'm doing is making sure only one note rings out at a time. Rather than this, We can sometimes get that kind of thing happening. So sometimes I mute it with the thumb here. And when I go between string one and string two, 
I'm making sure by muting with this hand or the other one that only one string is ringing out at a time. Just one thing to check. To finish that whole section, it repeats again, but there's just a slight change of the ending. So this ending, and then ending, But all of this is actually using the C major scale. If you do not know one scale on guitar yet, the first one I would say for acoustic guitarist that's fantastic to learn is the major scale. The C major scale, one, three, open, one, three. And back down. I have a lesson on that that I'll link to just here and also in the description below. That is the thing that you want to be looking at, is that underlying notes that, it's like the A, B, C of guitar, or the C, D, E, F, G of guitar, right? Let me play all of that for you one more time, and then stick with that and learn it, but we will cover the rest now for those of you that are a little bit more advanced, maybe more intermediate level, and we'll be going higher up the neck. So here's a recap, two, three, four. Second time, just a different ending. Take your time, learn that one, and when you can, get your aviators on because you are a fantastic guitar player if you can do that. Let's have a look at the intermediate section. All right, so this next section changes key to F sharp. It's called a key change, it happens in songs and it means we're gonna have to move higher up the neck to be able to play it. But it's all right, it's basically all that same stuff, but the first note, rather than the first fret, it's fret seven. Seventh fret, string two. After that, it's exactly the same stuff. same stuff just moved up but we have to move our fingers around a little bit so let's have a look at this it's mainly seven nine and then occasionally six so seven nine nine seven six seven six nine nine then walking up seven nine six nine Six, seven, six, seven, six, nine. That's a lot of numbers. And as I say, if you're at this level, you want to learn the major scale, which is seven, nine, six, seven, nine, and back down. And then these melodies become more instinctive when we don't even have to think about the numbers at all or the notes. We're just. We just, we just know it. If you can play the major scale, it really helps. And for the next section, it's all exa exactly the same. Okay. Uh, ending. And then it moves back down again to the original one. It's, it's kind of weird. This never really happens in songs, but it's really cool. Such a classic one. Whole thing happens again. And again. So the only change is right at the end of that section. So one, three, zero. Three, zero, one. And then back down. It's exactly the same as before. Change is open three, three, one, one. All right, a little bit of vibrato. We're not going to get a lot of movement from that last note, but we can. 
from the other notes so that's certainly something to try with this technique more of that in my lead guitar courses that are available at andyguitar.co.uk and loads of plenty of other guitar solos that I teach for free on my YouTube channel I really hope you check out some of those and if you do I will see you next time bye bye for now